So, Mr. Isaac, is game worth forty dollars now? Mmm, no. Why not? Maybe twenty, because it's kind of just clone of other games. Plus, what other games? Halo, Destiny. Um, not a clone of those. When I look no, at my when I look at my character, like I think of games. Halo Infinite. Like my character looks like a Halo guy. But that's just the character design. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that. It because it and probably uses have... the same engine. Level up. It doesn't. Three. It... Yeah, we did three of the missions. Some of the renders Ooh. are good. Like the intro, they had very good face renders, but the girl to our right, right about now, does not look like the render That's, of the intro. It's like you don't know how video games work. Yeah, but the intro was a render. The intro is not a video. Back. No, Democracy not a render. It was a video. Extreme. I got extreme difficulty. It was rendered. It's a. Th it's a. It's like. I know. It's a. Shut up. But it's it needs a video. to look like that. It doesn't actually render it. It needs to look but like that for it to be worth it. That's not in bot. That that's literally in bot. Then how do they do that before supercomputer? They well, rendered it out. They made a scene. Yeah. In 3D, they did a VFX scene. Yeah. Why can't they do that here? It's the same thing. The exact no, same. No, no. It takes a lot more processing power. Yeah. Then why overpromise? This is all real time. That was not real time. They planned it out. Each shot is rendered separately, and then they put it together as an MP4. And that's I'm what they play now. when you launch it. Yeah. It's no, not live like rendered. That. I'm a robot now. You can't He's do that with video games. Well, it's doing it right now. And the closest shittily. you can do is Unreal Engine 5. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the most realistic things can look so far. Well, I don't and think the engine is what is... Hello. Tied. The to... engine is what? Is what? I don't think. I'm a. I know you're a robot. It's nice. I'm a robot. Me. Yeah. Whatever they can do with. Supercomputers, they have to do here. You can't overpromise with an intro that looks like Jesus. <laughs> you really don't know how video games work. I do. It's not. You can't. You Stop can't have that. like. But you don't because you're thinking that it's possible and it's not. It should be. Because they advertise like it, it, it is on the Steam page. So that's what I thought the game would be like. That's the games have been doing that forever. And do you Every think that makes it okay? Every single mobile game. It's, it, yeah, it's because nobody thinks that it's actually what the game well, looks like. Well, I do, and that's my opinion. It's not worth $40. Why? Because they did a render from Amazon's web services and like... Far Cry 6 does the same. Every single yeah. game does the same thing. Well, Far Cry 6 does in-game renders. They do cutscenes, yes. Yes. That's, this, yeah. That wasn't a render. Yeah, it should have been. For fuck's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> Cut, the cutscenes in Far Cry 6 are, are real-time renders. Mm -hmm. That's why they don't look that good. Yeah. They look like this. Well, I'm saying... It has to be pre-rendered. Honestly, both games good. should be better. But they can't be. Why not? They're as good as they can be. I have a 4090. I paid two grand. It's not about for your graphics card. It's about the game engine and what it can handle. How? You can't just be how like, do you know okay, that? How do you make know it that? the textures realistic, because that's how games work. That's how you make games. Unreal you make Engine games Five shitty? is the highest one because of nanotech. Yeah, not nanotech. And they need to have nanomesh. better lighting. They need to have better textures. They need to have better physics. That's the big one. There needs to be a physics like silicon engine physically present in my graphics card. And NVIDIA needs to get their ass on, because if they're focused on But that's on not light, a thing yet. It's gonna be. It has to be. Yeah, but it so why are be. you... It, it, it probably will be, but it's not yet. But this is a, this is a fucking... To... This is something else. Point is, this game looks like any other game. And it's not worth $40. Because it's just another clone of everything else looking the exact same. It should be worth $2. Because it AI can make all of this. ChatGPT, make me a Halo clone that has good music. The music's worth the forty dollars. Okay, I'll say that. The music well, makes you're it pretty good. You're focusing just on the look of it. Yeah, it looks like every the gameplay other game is even because worse. This is the this is the, the best gameplay you is can like get it. COD. This feels like this feels like 
wreck it ralph card you know shoot the fucking things it's dark hard to see there's bugs everywhere and you gotta like it's challenging sure yeah. but that doesn't make it any fun or any worth it it needs to have more social interaction it needs to have more of a you know more emotional weight because right now it's like i can respawn so mm, and there's no end goal to actually reach it's all about trying to kill as much trying to make the percent to a hundred maybe but that's not possible because the devs want it to they don't want the players to beat the game because once the players just eradicate everything the game ends the game dies the war is over if the war ends the game dies there's no reason to play it. and that's unrealistic I don't like that don't like that one bit plus there's promises like these are real time players and it, that's a fucking lie so like people believe that shit you guys talk about it all the time and I know it's a lie it's a psychological piece of shit these are real people. Wow. Okay. And I can never talk to them, see them, or like play the game with them. So that they're not real to me. They're not real people. Yeah. Well, they don't affect me. It's a representation of all the players that are currently playing. And how does that matter? Why does that matter? You can. Because so I can see stats all the time. Part of this war. Yeah. It's to immerse you into the world. Well, it only works when I can actually be with them. You could always do online matchmaking. Yeah, but that just adds... How many yeah, people? But he wants, like, every... I, I want a lobby with he wants everyone like 50... playing the game in one lobby. And I know it's possible. Because I know they can do it with... In the graphics, with uh, direct storage. Where everything loads in real time. You don't have to load, like, a world in the VRAM or the RAM. And then just play off that. It can just dynamically load the world as you, like, move around. Which is how you sort of Using... think games should work. So imagine you walk around the globe and it just loads part of the globe with different yeah, like um, Minecraft. Mid maps. It should do that. But and it should do that everywhere. How does it and do that with hundreds of thousands of players all at the same time? There's server no servers have. can handle that. Why not? No servers can handle that. Have you gone to Hypixel, mate? Hypixel does not do that. <laughs> okay, maybe that's different, but it's still... It's, it's like, still like I know what possible. you want and like, yeah, that would be cool, but it's not possible. There's no we don't there's nothing powerful enough to do that yet. So technology still think, needs to advance. You could think of it in a way as like an MMO. I think that's where Meepy's kinda going with that. Um where Isaac's going with that is yeah. just having it more like an MMO, but you're still gonna have uh different servers because they can't just do it on one server. It's gonna be multiple servers, but sure. Um and so it's still gonna be instance as well, because you can't just have just wide open world. I mean you could do it that way. Um, that's going to put a lot of strain on all those servers all at once. Um, I guess the best yeah. way to really think about it is if you look at World of Warcraft or like RuneScape. Um, I mean, they do that, but at the sacrifice of having such a big world, you cut back on graphics and gameplay and all that. Um, that'd be the cost of it. So yeah. doing the instance where it's kind of like Destiny or kind of like Halo. Um, yeah, the gameplay can get a little repetitive doing all this all this mm -hmm. bunch of times, but it, I don't know. Like That's another thing. Yeah. I feel like I paid money to do work. I feel like this is college. This sucks. There's no reward other than... why do you view it than... as work? Why don't you view it as fun? Because... Like, do you not have fun when we're playing and It feels good and... with the music. It feels good like, wow, I'm actually, and then... That's what you're paying for. You're paying to feel good. Yeah, it's but like it's like a prostitute. It, but see, the, 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 that, that's not that's that's see the no. But that's not, see, that's <laughs> making this worse a bit. No, so you, I mean, it's kind of like a prostitute. I mean, you're feeling guilty <laughs> about it buying it. <laughs> Announcement system test. Freedom. It wasn't, God damn it wasn't worth the forty bucks. But I don't want that type of relationship with games. Yeah, I know. I grew up on test Minecraft. Complete. I feel like I've. Like I mean, that, like, boy, I don't know. That game allowed me to explore because it because it, it had the capability to do so because of its simplicity. This game does not have that. This game is like, give me money and do work. It'll no, never no. be satisfied. The super destroyer is ready for your next mission. And there's always gonna be the next mission. It's like Tony Stark, but anxiety levels. 
You see, I've studied Tony Stark, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I know that when men are driven to do something for the greater good, they can never stop. And they're easily baited to keep working forever and ever until they wear out and die. And that's what this is. It's just another symbol, another, another way to just waste time. That's what this war is. That's what they try to. Are for. I no, they're not for wasting yeah. time. They're for taking a break from reality. It's like movies. Why do people go to watch movies if they don't, you know, to be thrilled by something they can never experience? Outside of the movies, and this is to be thrilled by something that you can experience. Yeah, That's but yeah. For. this is like different. This is not a spectacle, not a roller coaster. This is something that makes you just want to suck your time into it. It wants to take something from you. Roller coasters don't do that. But it's not a roller. Roller coasters are not the same thing. Okay. Uh, uh, to be fair, too, there is the whole microtransaction part of it i mean yes they have the yeah. um the free battle pass but in order to get some of the other weapons other cosmetics other bonuses you have to dish out the 10 bucks and then you gotta grind out the game to get them um those medals um just mm -hmm. to get better weapons i mean yes if you really are having fun with it it's a good place to sink your time in but i mean um yeah it, it is it, there is that grind to it that doesn't that just kind of takes away from it it gets exhausting after a little while it, to me this game feels like modded halo okay it's we're using concepts assets not directly of course but it's just it just looks like modded halo and it like I'm used to mods being free. Because it's the base game that sort of... I pay for that. Because that's the concept. But you're only thinking in terms like of a, how it looks. Because this, this I prefer to pay for like sandboxes like that allow me to do a lot of things. And then having free modifications that can really personalize the experience. So like Gary's mod. Yeah. Or Minecraft. And... I'm not really going to say that all games should be like that. But I'm saying that some games should take a little bit of that. Because this seems like nothing to me. And it's got nothing unique other than presentation. And then once I mean, that wears off and it's already worn off, it's just like, oh. This game's going to die faster than you guys think. It's there's already nothing that will... There's nothing that will ever replicate Minecraft, like just yeah. in terms of that scale. Because <laughs> Minecraft to this day is still up there in like the top games. It's been that way, sir. It, it, yeah, it's just, it'll have its dips, but then it'll go right back up to where in popularity. Yeah. Because some big YouTuber will start playing it, start streaming it, and then people are playing it again. And then they start doing big updates and. See, what this game needs is something to make it incredibly unique and not take away people's... Well, I will try to extract anything from people. If this game really wants to make you grind for it, that's why I hate battle passes. That sort of hurt the game. Because then this is the work I've got to do just so I can have different clothes. Like, okay. And... Then, yeah. I mean, yeah, it can come across as work. And I'm like, but why it, should um, I care about any of this? Like, if if this is a real soldier type of situation, there is no battle pass. There's none of this bullshit. There's no currency in in this form. But then right. there'd be nothing to attract you to the game. Right. There'd well, be no reason I'd to keep have playing it after you play it the first time. Than this, because this is just kind of. I don't know. It adheres to a type of desire that I don't think many people desire buying useless items. But I guess that's more popular than I think. Yeah, it definitely sucks. is. Like, there's a reason that every game has a battle pass. Yeah, business. So games Even, are turning uh... from art pieces and sandboxes into business. Business. So... 
That sucks. But it's not Even all games that are turning into that. It's just this is a different. There are tons of different types of games, and yeah. this is one of those types of games that isn't meant to be a sandbox. It's meant to be an experience. You're supposed to feel like you're a part of something. You're supposed to, you know, have fun just mm -hmm. shooting stuff like a multiplayer Doom. And then the battle pass is just because, like, you can you can do anything in the game that you want if you really, really want to, without buying anything in the battle pass. Right. You just keep playing the game and you unlock new stratagems and whatnot. You don't have to do anything with the battle pass with this game, but it's there for those who want to have it and want to feel like they have a reason to play this game rather than just wasting time. But you feel like it's a waste of time no matter what, unless you're... Like, Mainly because I don't feel like I fit in yet. And that's also something... I always like you're part of the you're part of a bunch of people and I don't feel the presence. I don't care if I'm gonna be put on a random team of four people. That's still not enough to make me feel like Yeah, I think having like a game mode where you drop in where and there's like not, it's not just your squad, but it's a bunch mm -hmm. of other squads At like, least in that same map. And it's like it's like kinda like how uh It's something that they want to do. Halo The devs so, at Arrowhead said that they wanna do that. Where they have like larger squads or multi, you know, squad missions that like anybody so, can drop down into the middle of, um, but they don't have, you know, the server capacity for that yet. But well, they're working. Now they have the money because this game is forty dollars, yeah. and at its current popularity, how many people were playing? Do you remember that number? It was like, uh, it was in this section. We saw it. We saw it the first time we played. It told us the number or something on the table. Um, and it was like a hundred thousand players were in the one sector of the bugs. Multiply that by forty dollars. Yeah, there's that is there's still tens of thousands of people. That is four million dollars in each of the sections. From that instance alone. And, that and, and that's and just game sales, not buying that. They're working on it. Yeah, it's just and uh, so know, like it takes a while. Okay. You can't just buy a server and then have it just work. Like, you know how much time and effort you put into your server, and it yeah. still doesn't work all the time. And this game's only been out for, like, two weeks now, so... Yeah. Yeah, almost a month now. Has it really been a month? Almost. It started it at, like... It was, like, the first week of February it came out, I think. Yeah. And it's I end of February, so... Technically, February's the shortest month, so, like... Yeah. Three weeks. Almost a month. But, like, yeah. Like, this game definitely feels... It, it just it's like just a mix of Halo and Destiny, and it looks like a mix of Halo and Destiny, it, but it yeah. doesn't play like either of those games. No. Like I but like I, I almost found myself wishing that it was more like Destiny, so we could move around faster, and there were more movement stratagems and whatnot, rather than just like this jetpack, and you know. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, I think the, the main pack, problem just... that I have with this is not really anything else, except for. The fact that it sells, you're part of a bigger picture, and then it can't provide the bigger picture. Not yet, but so it's just it like, tries to with all the like all these ships around yeah. here. It tries yeah. to do it, and like mm -hmm. it works for most people because like these are a representation of how many players were here when sure. we and that's not hard joined. to do. And all of all of those actual copy asset, Paste all of, asset. like the real time stuff is the. The stratagems being used down there that are yeah. really hard to see. Those Bunch are all the real time stuff. The, the animations floor. of the bullets going down and the lasers going down, those are preset. But, um, you know, the number of ships that is here, yeah. if we leave and go to another planet, there's going to be slightly fewer ships. Like if you actually go out and count. Yeah. Like I've seen people who actually go out and, like, they count every single ship that they can see. And then they look at the player count and they do the math and it's always like really, really close. It's like within like 10 squads. Well, that's good. But I'm always asking for more out of these games because they always say that, that they're more than they actually are. But where do they say that? I feel like you're interpreting that they're, that they're saying that. Like, well, like with the graphics due to thing, you're what like, the they're players saying say. that the graphics should look this good because the opening of the game looks this good, but... They're not I mean, it's, actually yeah. saying it because, like, they're definitely very careful and not saying it. Well, but they don't really say they could anything. They're implying mate. it. 
because legally if they did say that then they'd have a problem on their hands mm -hmm. so you're you're picking up on what they're trying to imply but most people already have like accepted the fact that like this is what it no is. game is going to actually play like when you play it it's not going to look like what the trailers look like because i thought because that those render in the beginning was like a real person putting on that helmet looked real to me and yeah. so i yeah, sort of thought that it was a think. render and i was like wow they've got real time realistic renders now this is going to be worth the 40 dollars <laughs> and then i see this chick over here mm. nah yeah cuz like they still Which... look really good like this could have came out 10 years ago and it, it would just still fit in no, 10 years ago was 2020 so. 2014 I don't think it could have spend your extra cash today if it did come out during that time frame it definitely would be just on console though we wouldn't be playing it right now on PC yeah it, and it would look way worse yeah the, like the render at the beginning would not have even not even been possible yeah, people yes, would be would. more, way more upset for that. Not for the price being... that, not for the price. Well, that you, you said that it had. was a pre-rendered thing on a supercomputer, yeah. right? It's like it's like VFX that they do for movies. Like That's still if possible. they yeah. spent yeah. enough money on it, they could make like it look realistic. But they don't have the budget for that. It would it would cost easily over ten million dollars just for that first intro. And when they made the game, they didn't have the funding for that because if they spent all that money on that, then the game would be. Like not a game, because like Pirates well, they just have to earn the money, game. and companies like these don't earn money like that. Manage democracy calls for aid. See, there's yeah. something scummy with this with this whole business model. That's why. That's why I'm also not comfortable with that. There's well, there's something scummy with every business. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Well, that's a flaw maybe not with like a, hyper maybe not like a mom societies, and but shop, that's something a mom else. And pop shop. But it's the same thing. It's the same concept. The problem comes from the greed for better. money, right? Yeah. And like, yeah, eventually we'll have games that look real, like 100% realistic while we play them, like that render. But that technology, the closest thing we have is Unreal Engine 5, and that's not even close How about enough. Blender? I see realistic Blender's shit Blender's not a game engine. And what is Blender? That's a, that's a 3D... Rend and how is that software. different than a game engine? Because it's a preset thing rather than real time. Not real time is what it is. Like if you try, if you go into Blender and try to render it with all the shading and lights and physics real time, it looks like shit. You have to actually play it out and render it, and it takes like two days for you know, depending on your PC. Then it looks good. That's what makes it looks good. It doesn't look good real time. There's a difference between real time and like exporting and taking the time to render it properly because all of this is all real-time shading and physics and all of that and that is much harder to do than something that like is sits down and is dedicating itself to do it over the course of like however long like when you go to export a video I, I when, understand. It, when it lags and crashes yeah So, the money that we pay for these games does not go into the development of such games so that they run at better and better qualities. But rather the money yeah, goes to stupid gimmicks. It doesn't go into technology. Like game cosmetics and server renders, and server farm renders of the intro. $20 well, of the game went much. to the first 10 minutes Half the game's price went to that intro. That's why I feel horrible. My best part well, of the game think, is gone. I don't it's think it's a that fucking did. video. That's that's where the that's where the views differ. Cause yeah. like so, that's that's not. Anytime there's like a pre like like this like game a, is half like a movie trailer ticket. or something that plays or any cutscenes. I don't think of cutscenes or anything like that as a part of the game. Those so, are, those even though the always... cost of the cussing on their end is so high. Yeah. I, I don't think of those as part of the game because the game is all about the experience. What happens so, when you're pressing the keys. 
Uh, if I can make a comment. Um, mm -hmm. So this game isn't what I thought it was initially. I thought this game was going to be more like a real-time strategy. Like you spawn soldiers at a little facility and you go at bugs or whatever and go at robots. Like kind of like um, StarCraft or something like that. Like I, I thought it'd be more along that kind of mm -hmm. gameplay. and Like the top-down sort of yeah, and League of Legends I, style camera. <laughs> right, and I don't like that. I don't really like that kind of style. I don't like that gameplay. Yeah. I do like the third-person shooters. I really love the third-person shooters. Um, but I didn't think that this game was going to be that. And when I seen yeah. gameplay of it and, like, what you can do and just the insanity you can do with it with your friends and just blow each other up or, like, send each other flying with the spore pods or whatever. Um, I mean, it, that's not what i expected of this game i expected less and i guess Even... that's why i huh? well it I, I guess not less but like it's not what i expected at all um i expected to be something different and that's i initially was not gonna buy it just because it's like everyone's talking about it i was like but what is it what is it actually so i decided to watch gameplay of it and i was like oh this is something I might actually like. Yeah, because the first the Helldivers, the first one was that type of a game, Isaac. And yeah, maybe you, because you didn't have any of the context for like how different. Because you this guys is... know about that game. Mm -hmm. oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know anything. I know Cause, about the because the first game has all the same stuff that this game has. It has the same types of aliens. It even has the third set of aliens that's going to be coming. So people know what to files. expect then. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And so that the first game was much like a League of Legends to style camera and like a strategy game where you just like you're scrolling over the battlefield and you click down and like oh, I'm a group of soldiers here and you whatnot. And then this is an entirely different style of game than the first one was, but it's the same world. It's the same lore. And that's what a lot of the people like about it. I Even if that. they haven't played the first one, I love the fact that they took that style of game and made it into a different style of game. And that's impressive, yeah. and that is it's unique, like and I wish that more games did that. Making Harry Potter directed by Michael Bay. It's kind of nice. <laughs> Especially when this is only the second game in the series. Like, Halo right. has so many games, and it took them, like, what, three or whatever things to go from the first-person shooter to a strategy. And they had certain... So that Halo has strategy games and first-person shooter games. Right. And yep. this... I don't. I don't think Destiny has anything. Destiny is just its own thing. Yeah. Destiny's but quirky like that. <laughs> Destiny's also just like, I don't know. I'm over it. Like it's just a money pit for yeah. cosmetics. Yeah. Destiny That's definitely what I thought turned this into is. that. This is less so. I mean, yeah. at least some of the cosmetics you can just unlock through finding the war bonds or just doing missions. Like, yes, there's a grind mm. to getting the cosmetics, but. Um, and even like the uh, the super credits, like you're able to get those out in the world. You don't have yeah. to buy them. So when I, when I realized every we could currency do that, I was like, wow. From just playing. Yeah. Yeah. If you yeah, grind, like that's that's what I was saying. I assumed yeah. that I couldn't. No, we've gotten yeah. them. And there were so we, many currencies. I uh, I was like, I gave up trying to like <laughs> figuring out because there's this. Yeah. Even know there's a lot of there's a lot of different currencies for different things in this game and that does get confusing and as someone that plays an MMO Guild Wars 2 has like 40 different currencies for different things on different yeah. maps doing different things getting different items like it it, mm. it gets very grindy um but I still play that game a lot you guys see me playing that game a lot just cuz I like the game that game is also money pit for cosmetics. But like I said, that well, a lot of the stuff in that game too, you can just unlock it. You just find the item, unlock it, and you're good. Can you get the cosmetic there? Yeah, anything that you want to do that is possible in this game, you can do without spending a single dime. Mm. You can you can Other grind the forty dollar base first hours and yeah. You can grind for hours and hours and hours, and you'll be able to unlock everything. Like we bought stuff with. But how much does that, that matter? Would... Is that the fun part of the game? 
No, it because it's, 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 it depends on the person. Because, like, sure, for me, I, I don't really care about the look as much. I have a ton of fun just playing down there. Yeah. Like, I've, the, the money is worth it in in what we do when we're down there and how we kill each other and all the mm-hmm. funny little <laughs> things and, like, the epic moments that we have and the tense scenarios and just all the different emotions that we can feel in it. You know, that relief when you hop onto the shuttle and you're like, oh, it's over. Yeah. So fucking tough. This yeah. game is like, this game has made me feel more emotions than any game has in the past, like since fucking Rocket League when <laughs> I was a bitch ass little nerd. <laughs> like, oh, we, we, I have so much fun in this milk game. When, like, when's the last time I played a game and am still this talkative after five and a half hours? Like, it's ridiculous. Like I, well, I probably love a lot of games. You talk a lot, mate. But not after five and a half hours. Has it been? <laughs> see, oh, this okay. game does. You know, so, this game is fun when you 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 see how much you know. You're like, oh my god, it's already one thirty a.m. Like what? Bruh. You just have so much fun. You don't. You're not paying attention. You're not like, oh, this is boring, and you know this is happening. Because like, even when you die in this game, you can come back right away. Yeah. yeah. And then when you can't, it's stressful. And you're in it. You're in it in that moment. It's not like, mm-hmm. oh, you're dead. You're spectating. You're bored. You're like, okay, you have to survive for like just 30 more seconds. You could do it. And you're like focused and you're tense. And you're not like just waiting there, you know, looking at your watch. The way that they, it's all the little things combined and just all this world building and the style Ready is, like, the style is generic. Um, but. All of the world building is you like I've never the the only uh, the closest lore to this is probably Starship Troopers, mm. and there's nothing else like Starship Troopers, except for this. Except for this, this is like a video game version of Starship Troopers, but only that in was the bug a video planet. Game. It is, and it's a probably, movie. Yeah. It's, oh, it's the video games are. Some, yeah, go ahead, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, which game first? Movie. The movies. Oh. I've idea. But yeah. It's just some of those movies have boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen all the movies. I think I only saw like the first part of the first one. So when my brother gave me his PSP like uh oh. way back when, um one of the things he had was Starship Troopers as a <laughs> as a as a little disc thing that you put in and mm-hmm. uh, it plays the movie right off the PSP but uh, oh. he told me about that move or he told me about the movie after I had watched it and he just said that movie has boobs and I was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's like towards the end of the movie when they're like getting ready to put the people on max which that game's gonna have or this game's gonna have pretty soon too mm-hmm. I From saw a so that means big robot had, like so I saw a clip of somebody who actually had a mech in the game and like they had hacked it in or something. <laughs> oh. It looks pretty crazy. I could see the uh, people doing that. Because how of that instance this game in is... gameplay was. What do you mean? Well, I'm in a mech now. The mechs? You just like you get overpowered. It just seems like overpowered. Okay. What's the point of a mech? Um well Does it self destruct uh, after five minutes, you... like Titanfall two or something? Well, I'm sure there's like a battery in it or something. It's like timed, like all the stuff is timed. Yeah. All those stratagems. It's probably going to be a stratagem that it drops off. I'm, bl- I believe. And yeah. then you know you get in it and you're you're gonna need it. I don't know how long it's going to last. Uh, if it's going to have a time that it lasts, but I know that it's not going to be overpowered because the devs have plans and they so- keep saying things about how we're we're barely scratching the surface on the on on how some of these enemies are power wise like it's gonna some be of the, some of the balancing too is around the ammo use so like when you get in that mech it's gonna have a x amount of ammo that you can use with it uh eventually it will run out and then you might be stuck with a melee which puts you in a situation especially against bugs where they're all about the melee they're all about swarming you and especially going on the higher difficulties where there it's going to be intense it's 
that's where it balances out because then you get all like the uh, you get the bile titan or whatever um, mm-hmm. coming at you. you you might well in harder difficulties you're not going to just have that one you're going to have like two maybe three coming at you and you I've have seen to a deal clip with where that there are like five at one time yeah. bile titans and I was like and oh even, my even the robots they have like uh, they have tanks like actual tanks that will just blast you away Wow. Yeah. See, a lot of a lot of the good parts of this game are not like a lot of them, but some of the the context that you're missing is in how the the game is this community, not within the game, but everywhere online. And you're not you're not really online anywhere but YouTube. Right. So what are you saying? Like, like should I? See what YouTube see doesn't have that something? social like yeah like on TikTok that's how I found the game and that's how I got excited about the game and you like you don't have TikTok like YouTube doesn't have like a social scrolling feature where you can see other people talking about stuff you only see what they polish and post you can't see like yeah they, I see shit that they want me to see that they think I want to see and they don't see what's they don't really send me what's popular. And that's why I'm always late to trends. I go, oh, that was a meme. Oh, fuck me. That was two weeks ago. What happened? I didn't. Why? why okay. <gasps> it's bogus. Right, TikTok is very like. When something's trending, you're you're gonna see it, whether it's in your you know niche or not. Mm-hmm. Like there was apparently some sex position trend <laughs> called the hamster. What? I, that pop, see that's one of the things that popped up on TikTok. It's like I'm I'm on like I just watch gaming stuff on TikTok and like comedy sketches or whatever. Mm-hmm. And you know, all of a sudden one week it was just like a bunch of videos of people people talking about you know doing the hamster where you know you have a car with a sunroof. You have the guy lay on Wait. top of the sunroof Wait. with his with his with his th- penis. Wait. Right? Into the car, and the girl's in the car, sucking the penis like a hamster drinks water. That was a trend. That's not in my category at all. But people on TikTok see it, because it just, you know, TikTok is that thing where, like, anything that gets popular goes to everybody. What the <laughs> fuck? Like, right away. Who thinks of that? Who <laughs> reposts that? I don't know. <laughs> and why was it? But like, because it's it's one of those things like uh like on TikTok, it's not like there's an explanation. It's like you scroll, you, 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 a video pops up, and it's like somebody talking about it very cryptedly, and you're like, oh, it's one of those new things. And then you swipe, right? And you don't watch the whole thing through or anything because you don't give a fuck. And then you know it keeps if it keeps popping up, then you know it's popular because TikTok mm-hmm. is still sending it to you even when you don't care yeah it's pretty bonkers but like that's where I started seeing all of this stuff about Helldivers and that's how I know about that guy Gans the demon Mm -hmm. Cal do you know about him Mm, no he's a Helldiver who is against the hell divers so he plays the game and joins random matches and then kills all of his teammates until they run out of oh. revives and like everybody was mad at him and so they posted videos of him killing them and so he got popular and everybody's like ban this guy and then he made a video talking about how like the one specific clip that blew up that he was just kind of retaliating against his teammate who had killed him before and he had proof and whatnot, and then he start he started to like ride this hype of everybody hating him because he was killing some guys in a video, and so now his whole thing is like he's on the side of the planets that we're invading. He's like they're only fighting back because we're invading them, and like this is not real democracy. Like wake up, sheeple type stuff. So that's his side, <laughs> and so now there are other you know. There's starting to become like a group of hell divers who just join the game and just kill people. Have, kill like, all their just players. Do team kills. Yeah. 
PK. And so then it becomes a war between the bugs and your teammates. And it's, you know, there's all this community and stuff that, you know, happens that you got like, Meepy's not seeing. Yeah, I was hoping for that coming from the game, not from TikTok. I thought of this we in the shower. It. You know, I wanted this <laughs> gameplay to be like, there are kind of like, um, maybe like, like reports. Call of, maybe like Modern COD, where you're in a group of four, but you're still in the mega lobby of like, a hundred, but you're not all fighting each other. You're all supposed to work together. And so, of course, because you're in a group of four, those are your best mates, even if they're randoms. And so you should bond with them. There maybe should be like a phase before the actual gameplay itself where you do like a mission with just your four new friends, maybe something short, something five minutes. And then after that, you join a bigger lobby of a hundred people so that you at least care about your teammates. And then there's this whole social dynamic of you are in a small group with other small groups and sometimes you might fight with other small groups but the whole goal is to like do the big objective and then the objective is supposed to be like obtainable and then definitive so you beat the planet and then and then you beat the planet and then that's it like the pan planet's good unless there's something that to fuck up the planet so that they come back or something but that requires planning on the devs for that sort of plot to happen and well maybe i mean right now they just what do they do with the creek they made us lose the creek that's what i understand right we didn't lose it because we didn't we weren't strong no, like enough. not enough people were playing on it because but I like the, a lot of people were playing on that not as many are playing on that so uh, what happens is each sector that goes farther is harder yeah, Regardless of if you do it, uh, it's on the farthest sector on well, the robot for side. Sex. So it was already hard. Regardless of if you're doing easy missions there or hard missions there, you know, oh. or impossible missions, it like it's still harder because it's further out. It's the same way where like if we were to do a medium mission on the Mirin sector, it like on this planet or like this one. Like, we lost on this one, but then we've been doing the same things on this one, and we've been winning them. Because these ones are just harder. There are more spawning, regardless of what level you're on. Mm. We can do extreme. We did. We unlocked extreme. Yes. Oh, good lord. What's yes, after extreme? So, like, if I have... Uh, after extreme is suicide <laughs> mission, impossible, and then hell dive. Oh, no! And so, uh, so hard, so, so challenging, you have two objectives, hard, you have three, extreme, you have three, suicide mission, I don't know how many, because we don't have that unlocked yet, but, like, this is, like, there's a lot of stuff, and, like, each of these sectors we have to do three missions within. There is but one assured path to peace, and that path... And so then if you are playing solo, you can click on any of these and join them. Because these are active ones. The hell but, like... battle for free. <laughs> Let us decide where to or, enter the fray. The closest thing that, like, because the devs want that whole, like, collaborative, like, everybody's on the same thing, you know, mm -hmm. going to the front lines on this specific planet. And that's what they're trying to do here, where the major order on the right. What? They want everybody to be on this moon. That's what they want. So, go Wait, to what? that world real quick. Like, so, you can see... Because it shows hell divers active, enemies killed, um, hell divers killed in action, bolts fired, all that. Like, there's all that that goes to it too. I mean, it's less it's relevant zoom. towards it, but yeah, I don't think that's yeah, because it also is, it's. I think it's 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 bugged on PC. It works for PlayStation. Oh, this game well, is not on still, Xbox. Oh, you rip. can still see that uh, score. I think we have to be on the planet. So, is this the planet we're on right now? No. But so I yeah, can, I if we were to... Well done, Helldiver. 
Like just to see, because it may update. Because like this game wants you to have that feeling that you are. I do appreciate like, the fact that this is a render. If that was just a 24 FPS movie, get ready. Oh, hold on. Uh, go back to this and cancel the mission. No. Yeah. Mission preparation so that actually... aborted. And it still shows zero. Never mind. Yeah, I think it's, it's bugged buggy. because it's it's um. It works on PlayStation because of the way that whatever. Yeah, right. I know I've seen it on other worlds um, where you get to see how many players are there, how many were killed. I mean, if you Ooh, go been... to where is it? Is it is it over here? I think one of these career. If you go to your career tab, you can see how many enemies you've killed, uh, which of which type, how many I've, I've killed 26 friendlies. <laughs> I only have two melee kills. I have zero eagle kills because I've never used it. I've fired 21,000 shots. I've used 342 stratagems. I can't scroll. I've spent seven hours in mission. Can you guys scroll? Fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's always shoving me up. <laughs> hey, help me. I feel like you have a, a little bit of an issue. Very bugged game. It is. I yeah. plugged in a new Razer device. Maybe it's that. Because it like is like another keyboard. has caused some of the issues that you're having today. But yeah. um, but this game is also bugged just in general. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. it's meant to be a PlayStation game. And running it on PC is, is uh, whack. I can't press escape on this page. I have to go to the weapons. <laughs> Does that work for you guys too? I don't know. I'm able to back out. Apparently I've killed one enemy with a flamethrower. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, that was with that. the. Uh, you, you got the flamethrower like earlier. No, this was yesterday. I remember getting the flamethrower. Okay. I got, I got a new the cape. flame shotgun earlier. Wow. He's all stylish now, Mr. Christmas Man. Finally. Oh. Yeah. I think oh, this bug game up. is worth it, but I feel like. There's aspects of it that you've missed, like history about it, you know, the previous game. Yeah. And like the community that's surrounding it that's not within the game because it's not one of those games that supports that because it's a PlayStation game. It's not technically meant to be on Steam. It's no. meant to be a console only. So they have to sell the immersiveness and not actually have it the way I know they could. But the technology they specifically of the time can't. Their vision. Why am they I They don't like. Theoretically, if you had enough money, you could do what you want, but they don't. And maybe like the biggest game company in the world, whichever one that is, could, but not this. Vincent. Not these game devs. Like I've never heard of Arrowhead before. Have you yeah. ever heard of Arrowhead before? No, I thought you were talking about something else when you said that the first time. No, that's the, that's the company. I was like, um, is that a class? Arrowhead Game Studios. Um, like, yeah, most of their stuff has all been, like, top-down stuff. Yeah, strategy games. Like the games. sort of, like the strategy games. This is their first ever, you know, immersive shooter. Yeah. And they're they're pretty small so they like they weren't even expecting this game to be as big as it got like their servers were getting absolutely screwed people sure. were waiting for hours on, an, on like a companies are like a Whoa. loading screen and i don't think this game like especially on pc is as big right now um just because it doesn't have that cross play option um like, so PlayStation players cannot play with the Xbox, or not Xbox, PC players. No, they can. Um, there is an option. Is there a crossplay? Mm -hmm. I remember seeing I it. I don't but... know. Yeah, I remember oh, seeing then it. Then I'm wrong on that. I didn't think there was, just because it's 
PC going into a PlayStation, and I don't know how that was bounced out, but I mean, it's if they're all, doing like, it already, then... Yeah, there was some deal that Steam has with Sony and all that jazz, which is why a, a bunch of the PlayStation games are now on Steam. It was from a bit ago, so I don't really yeah. know exactly, but... Defeat the bile tank. Yeah, now that I think about it, the way I want this game to exist can't work on consoles due to the cheapness of consoles. So, that sucks. If this game was made for the console, the vision I would want for this game is not possible. And yeah. the devs don't want it. But, like, I know the devs want it to be, like, just a bunch of people. It might not be that they don't want it. it just They just can't do it yet. Yeah, so then why yeah, make it a PlayStation not. exclusive or with PC? Like, they made it for with a console in mind. You can't have a creative vision it, like that limited by a platform that you choose. Yeah, and I, I can agree to that, too, because the same thing happened with Destiny and Destiny 2. They're both console-exclusive games, um, and then they ported it to PC, and all the stuff they're able to do on PC now, like, it's got a huge community, but... There should be more to it. Like Destiny should be more of an open world game than it actually is. And I could see that being the same with Helldivers right now. Like it right now isn't and it's still fairly new, but they could eventually get there to where it's a little bit more open world. Um and you can have those bigger interactions with other players, kinda like how the um um I want to say like Fortnite. I don't want to compare it to that, but like Fortnite has the big team battles where it's like 50 players versus 50 players. Um, you got 100 players in one map and they're all fighting each other. Um, but it's two teams. It's two different teams. And mm -hmm. um, I could see doing something like that where you're just sending in like huge amounts of players all to like a. Um, or to like either attack or even defend like a base from uh, from like, enemy hordes like a bunch of robots or bugs and you have to call down your stratagems and um, just kind of support each other all that stuff and um, and there's going to be like weak points or choke points where you have to defend um, and bugs might slip through or the robots might slip through um, or they might introduce different enemy types where they're like artillery and they're bombarding you and they take out swaths of players and you have to avoid those areas otherwise you get blasted. I could see them doing something like that with this game where um, it's just like big, not really a big map but like having a high population of players trying to achieve a specific goal. They'd have and to make, you... like, a lot harder goals because some of the... One yeah. of the is issues of, like, having a, lot, a ton of people versus AI is that uh, there are some people that are terrible and they won't kill a single thing and they'll have no fun. And then there are some people that are, like, the best at the game and they'll do, like, all the work. Which is yep. why, like, you can have that sort of thing in, like, Fortnite or other sorts of battle royales like modern warfare where it's players versus players in their own squads because that's that's easier to segment and identify who's in what category of skill right with like yeah whatever that stat name is but you can't really have that sort of a thing with 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 a game that's against ai because you can't really match a really good player up with an AI because the AI is going to be the same no matter what. There's only, you know, yep. more the difficulty of the AI. You don't know how. Okay. Like the, you can't, you can't scale up the difficulty of the AI because otherwise that'll break a bunch of the, uh, the, the rules that you've set for the world. And like, it'll chop off the lower of half of like, the skill base player base. There has. Yeah. And they won't be able it to do it. It wouldn't be as easy to join the game. But that I think would that would for... help them. So imagine the round or the game starts where there's a hundred people, random people together in groups of 
four because mm-hmm. PlayStation has max of four local people and bro so yeah and and they all work together right so the bad mm-hmm. people can learn from the good people because they're working together and you'll see someone but do something don't. crazy and then you're like whoa and you'll remember what they did you, and and what they did didn't like hurt you or hinder you or like conquer you or kill you no but it like but, did something to help and then they'd learn and that's the best that's that's already happening in this community outside people are posting their clips like the people who are really sure. good are posting their clips and people yeah. who are either haven't played the game or just starting to are watching the clip but like me i don't but do if that they did it reason. all in the same map then it would then be real you wouldn't be doing anything it would be real. you'd sit there and you'd be no. bored and you'd be watching it happen. I would try to help. Wouldn't be able to experience it. I want to feel like a soldier. They would do it all. You wouldn't feel like you're doing anything. It's like if you join a Bed Wars game Maybe. and your teammate kills all the nerds and it's over. That's what would happen. Well, it wouldn't end that quickly. But it could. Sure, you start another game. That's, That's the it. risk that they don't want to take. Okay. Then, then it starts becoming a you know well, like a good risk. You have to. to you have to. You have to. You have to cut some things to be able to keep other things the way that you want. And yeah. they've just chosen this specific way. And maybe they'll come up with a way to be able to do it. Where, like, we can do, you know, they'll have, like, a larger map. I just want it to be an option then, so that people, if people like it, then they keep it. You know, gameplay. Yeah, but, again, this is, a, this is like, a yeah. small, relatively small And they put the money to the graphics. So they can't, they can't still then. do that. They didn't put their money into the graphics. Well, when I think of this game, I think of the intro. Which is I fair. Was, yeah. Because that's a lot of games. Like, it, it, there is that games are notorious for putting a lot of money into a cinematic. <laughs> yeah. And that, that's literally what the game is. It's advertising and propaganda and all that mm-hmm. so it's it, the game's literally trying to sell itself mm-hmm. um yeah yeah like there's a lot I, of stuff that's going to be coming to this game but as it is right now it's still really fun <laughs> you have fun isaac yeah but it it's like the soda i drink Except this is just one game, one can of soda, and it's gonna go out very soon. And I buy the cheapest soda in the store because I know it goes away quick. I consume soda and I consume content games like these the same way. That's why my library is so fucking big. (laughs) I buy a game, I hit the rush, and then it goes away. I lose the magic because I learn everything about the game and then it just becomes a simulation of well, everything bad about it. Right now, it's mystery and aura and literal graphical shine. It sort of paints over lack of ability to do things. Like, Minecraft gives you creative control to do a lot. This game does not. You know how, like, I want more realism. I want there to be a bathroom in the ship. That you couldn't go and like shit in, you know, it's details like that that make it even more real. That don't matter about the game at all, but just stuff like that where I feel like I'm an actual person and not just playing a game. Because when it comes to games, I don't want to play. I want don't want to feel like I'm playing a game, but I want the game to feel like a game. I want the game to be very realistic in what I can do to the point where it can do things even more realistic than what I can do in real life. Because in real life, I can't go to space. But in real life, I can't take a shit. And I, taking a shit is more relatable than going to space. And even though going to space is nice, it's uncomfortable because I can't take a shit. <laughs> can you shit in Minecraft? Um, with a mod. So I can satisfy my shitty desires. Yeah. With mods. And this game needs mods. You want like a Ready Player One type... Uh, thing. that would be pretty cool. Except that would be. Uh, there well, is there so that's VR chat. There, but VR chat there doesn't is have a company. Enough. There's a company that's making a game that you literally just described. 
Yeah, but... Mm, fuck. It's hard to get right. <laughs> I know. You're literally I've seen calling many... it life. Okay. But the way society... The reality... Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> the way reality is structured as it is is founded upon everything that has to exist before it. And this is founded upon perceptions of reality. Well, there's no bathrooms. It's like a movie. <sighs> this is like the sixth dimension. I'm yeah. falling asleep. I want the game to feel so real that it gets the smallest of details right. And that's not really possible. But I know that yeah. with enough dedication and care any artist can make their work as high res and as as just high quality as possible. Because you've got artists thousands of years ago making the most detailed oh. things. Michelangelo's David, the pyramids of Egypt. Those things are rigid, smooth. Well, they were smooth. And, and just precise. And All right. Um, yeah. Well, I just want to make one comment, um, kind of on the realism aspect, uh, and I'm going to compare this to Lethal Company of oh, uh, squishy human bodies. Oh, Momo. Squishy human bodies. Like, you don't last long in the world when you get surrounded. Like, yeah, there's some chances to heal, um, but it's mm -hmm. when you're swarmed, like, fragile human bodies are not... <laughs> We don't have the metal skin of a robot or the hard shells of the bugs. Um, we're squishy people. Yes, we can put ar armor on ourselves, but in the end, you cut through that and we're flesh and blood. And we're really, really, really not built to survive that kind of stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Like there's there's has it like I, I like again I want to make that comparison to Lethal Company because Lethal Company you die pretty easily mm -hmm. if you're not careful. Um, same thing can apply to Hell Divers because I like I just said the, you do get the armor but um, there's that aspect of you got to be careful you got to strategize you got to make plans before you go into something and. Sometimes the game's just like, fuck you, and here's a swarm of bugs, because fuck you. That's realistic. I'm getting fucked. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> <laughs> but Lethal Company is great because it simplifies reality into the various things that yes. sort of make the game the game, and it doesn't it doesn't try to be anything other than it precisely is, and that's fucking perfect, and that's why it's so loved, as well as just the fun of the but game. But isn't it also... But this game tries to sell itself as reality. It doesn't try to be a video game. The intro cinematic was not trying to be like that. The intro cinematic the was intro like... The intro cinematic was trying to be eye-catching. To get people to mm -hmm. see the game, to look yeah. at it, because they know that the people who I just feel like this game is failing game, at what it's trying to be, because it just can't. It's a premise. I think it's succeeding. That needs a lot of work. Oh, okay, well, because it's not trying to be. It's not trying to be real. It's trying to immerse you into a world, and it does. That. Well, it needs to simplify everything for that to work. The simpler the world, the more, uh, the easier it is to be immersed. But you now were just talking about how you want there to be all these complicated details, like I do. being able to shit in a, to in a toilet. That's I do, cause, opposite of cause, simplifying. Because this is not looking like Lethal Company or Minecraft. This has details out the wazoo, like the intro animation render. Like, Maybe. why? Like, why would they do that? Why? Why would they have that look like that? It looks so real. They, I think they want the game to look like that. Why else? Well, they have that. They do want the like. Of course, they want the game to look like that. It's just they're, it feels like they they failed, and they're just they're just saying fuck it, ship it the best that we can sort of get, and we'll make the sales anyway. And if there's a lot of demand, eh, there won't be a lot of demand, and we'll have the server capacity be normal. We'll we'll buy more server capacity if the game gets more popular. You know, it's too. It's not. It's it's not. It's not art like how I view it. It's not. It it just sucks. 
It's not trying to be not an imitation of reality. It's not trying to be art. It's not really trying to be science fiction or non-fiction. Can't be non-fiction, but like I don't know. This game just isn't hitting anything on the head because it's trying to hit all the nails on the head, and you can't just do that because the nails fuck each other and they push each other out. So like, you know, yeah, yeah I'm uncomfortable. Yeah, and I can understand that. Like, I'm not like super immersed in the whole world. Of it. I'm more immersed in like the gameplay and like hanging out with you guys just playing the game having fun mm -hmm. but like the whole world of it i'm not really immersed in because i don't know hell divers i'm aware of the series but i'm not like immersed in like the lore or all that stuff i'm not immersed in it and i can see that point of you just being like hmm why would i yeah. want to there's kind of like would three I... different levels of us like <laughs> no, none of us are yeah. like fully immersed in this game like, yeah, I'm I'm immersed. I love like the thing for me is like games. It's different for me that it is for Isaac is like we mm -hmm. play the games to just have like a game's goodness and worth comes from how much fun we have from it. And now, you know, what the experiences are like within it <laughs> and how it how it plays and, and not it's not really about how it looks or how it, you know, what it tries to do. It's about what it does do mm -hmm. and for you know, on on my level, Hell Divers is fun, and it's a great way to spend time and hang out with my friends. And I know like very very basic little knowledge about what's to come and what you know Hell Divers kind of is about. It's not about that. It's not about the lore for me. It's about you know the gameplay and you know like the community around it and how they're reacting to things and just like the irony of everything and the, the, the humor that this game has is it's like one of its core purposes mm -hmm. is to just be funny and epic and crazy and ironic mm -hmm. and Kyle is on like that level where it's like this is hella fun to play <laughs> and we're gonna, like this is great you know it's it's intense and it's fun and it's great to hang out with friends and then isaac's like what is going on there's so much detail uh, this is trying to be real and it's not it's not trying to be real i don't know what's going on why is there so much detail when it, none of it matters too much into it. because there's too it's... much detail i'm used to simple games like look have, at this ship like, render. Know, the more detail a game has doesn't mean you have to think about it more it doesn't mean that it has to be trying well, to do what something matters more. then how, like, how, how much fun you have playing? No, I'm not like, talking about that. Fun, like... I'm talking about when I look at like a detailed render of this game, or maybe the ship, I got the ship loading screen on my screen, and like, what do I create as a concept in my brain where I should focus? Because there's a lot of red lights, a lot of flashing lights. There's the name of the <sighs> ship. There are, there's, there's the long front, there's like on the bottom. Where it is our people like standing? I think it's near the middle bottom area underneath the name of the ship. That's probably where we are. And so. See, but that's stuff that I down. never think about. Yeah. Do you think about that sort of stuff, Kyle? I mean, I pay attention to the. Like where we launch out, like there's a little bay on the mm -hmm. bottom of the ship where we mm -hmm. can see your pods drop out if you pay attention to that. Um, That's uh, some of the stuff I look at, but again um it that's like and i do agree like there's a lot of detail in the game but and there's a lot going on in the game um and i can understand how it can i don't know there's too I much detail like for me to focus and i can't focus on what i should focus on because you guys were like okay there's these things called i forgot the name already the, the abilities that we use that we have to like throw the ball stratagems stratagems what yeah. the fuck so there's that <laughs> and that's supposed to work somehow like you guys take their simple concepts and just make it work you just perceive them as they as they simply are and you don't really question mm -hmm. why they exist you just play the game as you're being literally shown or told to play and I can't really vibe with that because I just can't understand like why 
Why is the I, game the way it is? If it's trying to be a simplified version of reality like Leith Company and Minecraft and Roblox, then then that makes it easier because then you sort of figure out what you do, what you can't do, and details are omitted because they are not necessary and they are distracting and they take away from things that sort of just make the game work playable but now i'm looking at all sorts of detail that isn't really meant to be an impressive showcase of art because they're not trying their best to make it that way they're not going head over heels like having the game render be a real render or something like that and they're not like so the details i see don't matter but i don't know which details don't matter and with the things that do matter i don't understand why they do matter and then you've got the game UI, which is all sort of like an artsy look, and some of that matters, mm -hmm. but it's just hard for me to understand because the details, I cannot tell what matter because I'm used to simpler games. And maybe that's my problem, oh. but I feel like it's I mean, more it's than just... It's definitely not something that I can relate to. Like, I don't, I don't yeah. ever find myself trying to think about that because, like, it's like a game is just... It's just a game. Like if I if I want to focus on those details, I can. But I, I never find myself in a situation where I'm like, this game doesn't make sense because of how it looks. Where is the upper command of the hell divers? How are we all together doing this thing when I don't really see an upper command? It's always like that general uh Branston brand guy hey, I'm Cape Johnson here. I'm on the TV. <laughs> this is a TV and then what the hell? Like there's like, like I, for this to work as a narrative it has to be shown how it works because then i can believe it but all these I ships don't think it's supposed look to be like a they're just there because the game says so like everyone there's a war you're told there's a war who's in charge like how is this layered that's part in, of the point what, what that's what? part of the the propaganda of it like yeah. you don't you like, don't know it's kind of it's then who are well, we it's like if it's it's the satire sort of like that blindly part gets following just that part of reality I, gets simplified. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so you, okay. That, I strongly it's like, fascinating. I, I strongly suggest you start watching the Starship Trooper movies, oh, and mama. that'll make a little bit more sense. Like you've seen them, Brett, haven't you? Some of them, at least. I I, I know like. The part that I that that you need to see of Starship Troopers is the part that you're missing in this game because like this game isn't yeah. trying to do anything. It's 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 doing something in a way that it's tr that it's not trying to do in in a way that it's trying to not do. It's I'm a very of <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> like because like even the intro animation, right? It's like that 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 propaganda is heavy. Mm -hmm. And it, that's what people love about it, not because it's hooking them, not because it's actually working, but because of the irony yeah. in all of this. And th that's what people love, the fact that this is this game is just satire. Sure. Yeah. People love it. Because it says satire war is, is good well. and the war is bad, and that's the subtext. Like, people are getting brutally murdered. We are dying oh. out there, and then we just, you know, just pop in again. <laughs> yep. Well, and that's the thing to think about too. Like you're playing as a person, and then you're dying as that person, and it's not like you come back as some clone. You're coming back as a brand new person mm -hmm. every single time. So it's like there's so many people that are dying. Um, I, I don't know. Yeah, sure. but it's it, like it just doesn't expand I, upon that idea. It doesn't bring it to the I forefront. I guess not. Because like no, it, and that's it, not really. Because no. I, I didn't it's notice meant that. It's to be more of like a background satire sort of. I didn't thing. notice yeah. that. And you know what I noticed? All the details. But not you those details. You should do game reviews, Isaac. Why? <laughs> this is the autism <laughs> fucking show in familiar, mate. This yeah. is why I don't want to do the test. But that, but that's why you need to. It's to the do glasses. These I swear to you God. You need to just. You, <laughs> you need to like embrace like the things. I that wanted you context, man. Talk about a lot. Cause like, hell, I'll I'll just make this when I edit this nerd. I'll just make this into. A, no, I'm being turned into about. a game review YouTuber. No.
I mean, it's what you, but it's like if you, that's what you do with games, anyways. You, you're review like every time we play a game together, you're constantly reviewing it, you're critiquing it. I do, you know, talking about all little details that, like, I, you know, that no, not many people pay attention to, and that's that. That's like a thing that could set you apart. You see the ship, right? No, that I'm thing? out of the game. I need to yeah. go to bed. It's late as fuck. <laughs> I wouldn't be, you know, my brain would expect this ship to fire a giant rail gun out the front of it because Ender's game, and they would do that because that exists. And so they would say that this is a thing that that happens, and then people would be like, "Yes, that makes yes, that's that. This is what happens. Wow! Now we're shooting at a planet like Death Star." And then I'd be like, "When did the ship get? Like, what? Where does that energy come from? Right. Like, right. um, the ship still doesn't explain its, you know, engine, and and how it just how it just goes boom, and then boom, like." We should be dead. What's the fucking? What's the? The word metal for should this? be compressed if it's stopping that hard, because this is well, metal. There's paint on this, and like, the paint should be gone. The lights, that those are lights, and that should also be affected by the hyper jump. And so, like, why isn't the details that they that should matter if this is a realistic game do not matter to the devs? So they're playing into the realism card, but not putting in the actual details into the realism. And that's the this problem is with what realism you're is that realism goes down to the quantum level and they're not rendering at the quantum level so I'm not supporting this game <laughs> boo, 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 boo. Fuck what hell. you have what you have and the reason why you view everything like this including oh, movies because like every Don't time say. I show I've you I've already said it before no of course you have autism okay <laughs> that's, that's obvious <laughs> I'm talking about you have zero suspension of disbelief you don't have that yeah you 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 just don't do that. I well, gotta, maybe like not that you don't have it. You just you never do it. Like every time I show you one of my films, I gotta raise my. Or anytime you, you like, I'm like watch this TV show. You know, you you always like talk about the things about it that I'm just like, well yeah, but also my care. that doesn't matter. Yeah, and then I go right, but it does. That's like you, but there's like this whole like you have to suspend your disbelief. Like everything that is a piece of media you have to suspend your disbelief in in one way or another yeah that's I'm how that's how that. media works this whole but conversation you, this whole conversation could be a podcast like easily <laughs> yeah we could make a podcast i don't want to go on joe rogan he'd be like who is this guy i'll be like i'll tell you <laughs> i'll tell you i hate fucking modern video games oh my fucking god damn it <sighs> oh. oh yeah i thought the shower what if valve made a video game movie where they produced it they like had in-house you know um uh, directing control but like not really like i don't know but Team with Fortress no yeah movie? like t like tf2 movie like they, they did animations 15 years yeah. ago like those are fucking fantastic the writing was good, the animations were good, the characters were good. And like all they were missing was just resolution. Honestly. Yeah. Because even the visuals were fine, mm -hmm. because when it comes to visuals of such things, it's not about it realism. Style. And it's a style. Mm -hmm. And that's fucking nice. The style of TF2 is fucking nice. And imagine if that was a movie, they would Best movie, best video game movie. Better than the Minecraft movie, probably. Better than Mario. Uh, no, no, never mind. Maybe not that one. <laughs> but like, it would it would be great. Imagine a Half Life movie. Like this entire like com computer nerd culture would freak the fuck out. We'd all unite for the first time because it's a Half Life movie. Okay, everyone would set down their Counter Strike, you know, and then we would all go watch the fucking Half Life movie. Okay, you go to the, the theater the... and you you say, hey. You play Half Life? <laughs> and then they'd be like, yeah. I played it when I was 13. And then they'll well, you, you get the people that are like, uh, with the Sonic movie. Because <laughs> the initial trailer for that movie was mm -hmm. like torn to shreds. Yeah. And then they fixed it. That was nice. Which yeah. Has never happened again. <laughs> you know what's funny the is. If you guys ever, I don't know if you guys have Disney Plus or whatever, but uh, the, um, what is it, uh, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers movie that they recently came out with, there's a, 
they make they totally make fun of like the bad Sonic, like the ugly Sonic, because oh. they have him as a character in that movie. Like it's I've seen it, that clip. Um, it that that movie is really that. good too. Disney bought Ugly Sonic as yeah. Um, it's fuck. Like, how do you buy that? How do you buy <laughs> the stakes? They're that? they're a conglomerate. They can do whatever. Yeah. Well, no, uh, my question is, how does that entity exist in this real world? Because Ugly Sonic is just Sonic, badly imaged, where people don't like yeah. the image. It's still Sonic, so they can't just buy Sonic. Ugly. So- who made ugly, ugly Sonic legally? That's my question. This is the fucking autism fucking going hard. <laughs> okay? This is the shit I think about. How did Disney buy Ugly Sonic if Sonic... If that, like, creature well, was so... created in a trailer? A oh, trailer. God. Not even a movie. A trailer. Who owns the trailer, then? See, this is the rabbit hole. I don't know. <laughs> See, trailer houses? So what I... I like what trailer I houses, just trailer automatically houses. assume is, like, so, uh... Sony owns Sonic. Oh, Jesus fuck. And so then they made the mistake, and then Disney was like, hey, can we buy just this ugly Sonic from you? Because, so you know how there's yeah. Mickey Mouse? Yeah. Mickey, the, the, the very first exist. version of Mickey Mouse yes. is now free. Like, it's, it's, it's public domain. But the color, if you color it in, the way that it's colored in, in other versions of Mickey Mouse, all oh. the, all the, all, any other one, then it becomes copyrighted again. It's purely that version of Mickey Mouse is separately a cited. Legally? I don't like entity is not really the right word. It's just like it's like this Dr. Pepper can is different because it's upside down, right? It's like the same thing but a different version. You can cite them separately and 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 copyright them separately. And so Sony was like, "Okay, this was bad." We that's we're going to completely ignore that and we're just going to put it aside. And then Disney was like, hey, can we buy it? We want to make fun yeah. of it. And, okay. And they were like, okay, yeah, give us a million yeah. dollars. I understand how that would work like that. But the fucking problem remains, how does <laughs> Ugly Sonic separate from Normal Sonic when Sony was like, this is Sonic? And then people were like, no, that guy needs plastic <laughs> surgery. So because they just separated him after Legally? the fact like at first yeah so that means they so have they, to create ugly they sonic would have copyrighted just, just him to sell it to disney as a separate that's what thing. would have happened they would have to create yeah. ugly sonic as a character legally which is just mm-hmm. to sell it and make money like that, that's crazy <laughs> mm-hmm. that is crazy it probably imagine, they probably only created it after getting the offer imagine doing that with babies so so i totally did not mean for us to get derailed just by that <laughs> but again I really need to go th- so so again this would make a really good podcast <laughs> yeah we should, I'm serious. We should i'd be good like that more. i just gotta get talkative you know doesn't happen yeah. often I need more i have fear. to like sort of i have to sort of like egg egg you on egg me Oh, like when we first protein. started talking, I was like, "So was how, like, is this forty dollars? <laughs> is this worth the forty dollars?" I go, "Fuck no, I don't like this." <laughs> and then I had to egg you on for a while, and then you fight, you start get like passionate, fucking rambling, passionate about it. You gotta get me rambling. I do. Yeah. I do this in I the know shower. How to push your buttons. Oh. Yeah. Right. I really gotta go to bed now. Oh yeah. my god. Okay. So, Mr. Isaac, is game worth forty dollars now? Mm, no. Why not? Maybe twenty. Because it's kind of just clone of other games. Plus.